Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you so much for over 500 likes in the last episode. I very much do appreciate it, my friends. If we can keep it up with 500 likes as a bit of a goal for this series, that'd be beautiful. Of course, if you want to go one further with your support though, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, in the last episode, we went ahead and we safeguarded our base, my friends. Windows. We are now completely cordoned off from the outside world and I tell you what I feel so much safer for having all of these walls up. So today my friends what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reuniting the golden combo in Ark. The Argentavis and the Ankylosaur. To get ourselves an Ankylo would be the start of us being able to get ourselves a large supply of of metal okay so we've got adam here level 272 which is fantastic and basically we're just gonna go hunting for an anki we don't need a taming trap or anything like that ankies are very very easy to avoid they're pretty slow so it's easy it's real easy to tame them in fact so uh, yeah let's grab out the saddle that we made in a previous episode here there it is and uh, yeah guys we're pretty much just gonna get straight into this oh Oh man, I forget just how quick Adam is here. Ah, oh, I love it. I love the fact that we have ranked up this guy's speed by literally 40%. We are 40% faster than a traditional normal Argent Davis, which is rather amazing. Well, as always, there's a small scale war going on here. Uh, there is an Anki or two down there, but they are pretty much getting destroyed. So yeah, maybe this isn't going to be the best place to get ourselves an Anki. Saw. Maybe we need to go to the mountains, huh? So here we are, my friends. We have ourselves a couple of Ankies down here. Let's see what kind of levels we're working with. We've got level 60 and... Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Uh, level 115. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I think I would be fine with a level 115. What I'm going to do first of all, though, is I am going to kill the other... The lower level Anki has been taken out, and that just leaves this guy down here, which is the 115, right? Yeah, it is. All right. So, like I say, this is actually going to be incredibly simple, so long as there's no other buttheads nearby. So, let's whip out our bow, ladies and gents, and uh, let's get this process underway. Let's do this thing. Come on, get shot there, Budski. Hey, where you off to? Where you off to? Hey, you should be following me, not trying to go for my Argent Davis. No, you leave Adam alone, buddy. <laughs> you see, like I say, the Anki is incredibly easy to go ahead and just avoid. You can literally just walk away. Its turning circle is really, really far as well. So, um, yeah, like I say, these guys are easy to get away from. <laughs> um, also, for whatever reason, only his head is showing above the little crest here. Um... Sure, this this works out quite nicely, actually. Uh, right, what are you doing? Oh, is he trying to run away? Oh, trying to run away, are we, sir? It's not going to work out for you. You're down. Okay, everything is good. Right, let's give you some media berries. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we play the waiting game. So then, while this guy is taming, it actually gives me an opportunity to do the comment of the day because it actually relates to taming. Satrio Triadi says, Python, if you want to know the taming effectiveness, you can check it in the taming tracker even before you feed it. So that would be this thing here, the taming list, the fifth button along the top here. Uh, yeah, check it out, my friends. Plus 57 levels. Hey, not too bad. Plus 57 levels, that means that this guy is going to be, what, 172, right? Levels-wise, that's not a bad start, my friends. That is not a bad start. We could probably pretty easily get that guy up to level 200 as well and just rank up his weight. When it comes to resource dinos, literally just ranking up their weight, it's the way to go. It really, really is. You don't need to worry about health or melee damage or stamina or anything like that. Just wait. The best thing about the taming tracker is you can actually go ahead and click on each of the dinos you're trying to track, right? And then you can fly away and you will still always be able to locate your dude. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Is that a hyena done? I do believe that it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. You are killing no one, sir. There we have it. 
I ain't having none of your nonsense, all right? I haven't having no hyena duns taking any of my dudes out. We haven't had any issues with hyena duns in this series so far. And today is not going to be the day that that changes. To tell you the honest truth, I actually have no idea how recent an addition this feature is, the taming tracker. Uh, but I don't remember ever seeing it in my super early arc series. So it must be somewhat recent at the very least, right? But yeah, as time goes on, I'm hoping that... I'll be able to use the taming effectiveness, taming tracker thing way more effectively through this series. So then, once this Anki has tamed, we'll put a saddle on it and we will go ahead and do our inaugural metal mining session. What I'm hoping I'll be able to do is I'll be able to carry the Ankylosaur with our Argentavis and while it's being carried, I'm hoping that it will be able to go ahead and just sort of mine up some metal by himself without me having to do anything. I'm pretty sure... Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Even if he's just sort of hanging down from your Argentavis, it should still be able to mine stuff up. If I'm right, and I hope I am, that is why these two are the dream combo when it comes to Ark Survival Evolved and getting yourself a whole bunch of metal. Because, yeah, being able to get yourself a ton of metal, it's something you're going to need to do if you want to get yourself an industrial forge. You need 2,500 metal ingots for that bad boy. And this dude here, the Ankylosaur... Might just be enough to get that amount of resources. Anyway, again, while the taming is going on, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your guys' attention that we have ourselves eight levels up. That was actually from the last episode. We never went ahead and did anything with it. So let's go ahead and uh, go for a bunch of weight. And uh, we're going to go also for a couple of uh, health points here as well. And at level 98, working backwards, we have ourselves the Riot Gear. The Quetz Platform Saddle. There's the Shocking Tranquilizer Dart. There's the Giga Saddle as well. Mosasaur Platform Saddle. The Tuso Saddle. Pheromone Dart. Yeah, there's lots of cool stuff going on. We've got 476 spare engram points at the moment, my friends. That is a decent amount to be doing a lot of stuff with, isn't it? So there we have it, my friends. An Ankylosaur is now ours. I'm going to call this guy Abe. And uh, yeah, guys, look. We can now go ahead... And uh, take him off the taming tracker. And yeah, all is well. All right, let's go ahead and put a saddle on this guy. We'll check out his uh, stats while we're here as well. 360 carry weight. We can go ahead and rank that up a ton just by getting this guy to mine a bunch of metal. 3,000 health as well. Kind of decent, my friends. So let's put our theory to the test, shall we? We start off, of course, by uh, picking up the Ankylo here. Let's go find ourselves a rich metal rock to mine up here. Oh, there's one. Hey. And what I'm hoping will happen is he will mine it up. Right? 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 Oh, hey, that actually did kind of work, didn't it? Oh, nice. So if I just sort of continue to circle this thing, he'll wind up mining it up. Even without me dropping him down, eh? Mine it up there, son. Ah, maybe he's too full. Oh, no, he's just been dropped. I didn't mean to do that. All right, what do you got there, son? Three levels up and already 573 metal. That's kind of crazy, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, so each weight level up is, what, about 14 units? So that's not too bad. We're up to 400 carry weight. And as you guys can see, it reduces the weight of the metal considerably. On us, one piece of metal is one unit of weight. On the Ankylo, it has been reduced considerably so. So then, you know what? Let's just continue to mine this up. There we are. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we have it. Got it. Something else got mined before there. And I'm not entirely sure what. Anyway, there we are. Little bit more of a level up for this guy. Level 176. You've still got plenty of space as well to carry more metal. Maybe we can find a slightly more easy to access rich metal node to give this thing a proper test, huh? So check it out. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of different resource nodes here, of course. We've got ourselves a little bit of metal. We've got ourselves obsidian and crystals, of course. Hey! That actually worked! It just randomly mined it up without me actually telling them to do anything. I love it when tames are proactive on this game. I think that's great. There you go. Go ahead and mine this one up, huh? Go on. Go on. Mine it up there, son. Maybe it's because his carry weight has gotten above a certain threshold that he's not going ahead and mining stuff while being carried anymore, right? It could be the case. Let's go ahead and put this guy down here real quick. We might as well go ahead and grab ourselves 
a whole bunch more metal, because at the end of the day, that's what this guy's here for. Oh, and crystals, apparently. I don't actually need the crystals. What I need is the metal, and lots of it. Oh, yeah, baby. And then we chuck all the stone away, which will reduce the carry weight considerably. And then, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, the carry weight is a little bit crazy right now. But that might be because I'm riding him. Yeah, there we are. Look at that. It's just under the maximum now. So, here's where the Argentavis comes in, though. Because if we go ahead and put the crystals on the Argentavis, each bit of crystal on us weighs one unit. But on an Argentavis, it reduces it by half, which is pretty nice, huh? So, we go ahead and put the resources on this guy. And, yeah, we have a slightly reduced weight with the crystals. I'm pretty sure the same goes with Obsidian as well. So, maybe we use this opportunity here to go ahead and grab ourselves a whole bunch of high-end resources, huh? I must admit, I can't remember whether you use a pickaxe or a hatchet to get the most amount of obsidian from these little nodes here. Uh, oh no, that's definitely, it's definitely a pickaxe. Yeah, we got way more stone that time, didn't we? Uh-huh. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to drop that metal. There we have it. All right. Uh, how much do you reduce the weight of obsidian by? Uh, by half. Okay, very cool. We can get ourselves a good amount of obsidian. And even it reduces the weight of the metal by half as well. But of course, Abe here reduces the weight by even more. So Abe will be the one who carries metal. Uh, oh, yeah, just about got it. And uh, yeah, the Argentavis can carry pretty much everything else. Rare mushrooms. Should probably keep a hold of these bad boys, as I'm pretty sure they're used in various recipes for kibble and various other bits and bobs. So uh, yeah, looking good, baby. Oh, dude, we're going to be going back so rich here. It is going to be fantastic. So check this out, my friends. Even with over 800 crystals, we are still only taking up 640 carry weight here. We can get so much more. However, before doing anything, what I think we need to do is we need to try and pick up Abe and then see what our carry weight is then, okay? Uh, oh, it's just over a thousand now. Interesting. Right. What I feel like we should do is actually maybe drop off some crystal and then grab ourselves some more obsidian since we don't actually have a great deal of it at this particular moment. So, uh, yeah. Crystals, I know I can get those really easily way closer to base. Uh, the obsidian, yeah. This is stuff that we need to travel for. So we might as well try and get as much as we can, huh? I mean, look at me, my friends. Even with all of the resources that we've got going on now, I am still able to fly real nice and quick. <laughs> that is why you get yourself a pack mule Argentavis. You simply rank up its speed and its weight, and you are golden, my friends. I'm so happy that we decided to do this. Being able to get loads and loads of resources at a time, it's a pretty good thing, isn't it? <laughs> but really, I'm so happy that we did this. We have our dream combo back, guys. We have our dream combo. Look at this dude. So then, Abe, welcome to the tribe there, buddy. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at how many friends Abe has come home to here. Ah, oh, brill. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, start chucking a bunch of our resources into the various chests and crafting stations we've got going on. And uh, yeah, guys, we have so many resources now. This is great. <laughs> so doing a quick tally here, ladies and gentlemen, we have got, oh, what, 3,000 metal. That is enough to make 1,500 metal ingots, which, believe it or not, is still not enough for an industrial forge. And the reason you want an industrial forge is because that bad boy is capable of smelting up to 20 bars at a time. Whereas the refining forges do only one at a time and fairly few and far between as well. So, um, yeah. We've got a lot of metal now here, guys. <laughs> what I feel like we should do is we should probably think about making ourselves a giant array of refining forges. What, you think this array of refining forges is going to be enough? Oh, no. No, no, no. We're, we're going to need way more than this, my friends. If we want to get ourselves up to the point of making an industrial forge fairly quickly, the more refining forges we have, the quicker we'll achieve that goal, right? I mean, there's no reason why we can't get this uh, metal smelting session started now, though, right? 
Might as well make a bit of a start here, my friends. We'll just go ahead and start smelting more and more and more as time goes on. And we get more and more refining forges, huh? So there we are. Another load goes in there. And finally, another load goes in here. Yeah! All right. Now, we're going to make ourselves a large platform somewhere and just absolutely cram it with refining forges, okay? Oh. Looks like we have a visitor, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this guy sticking his head through the wall. What are you doing? His head's in the floor. I mean, I've heard of, you know, sticking your head in the sand, trying to avoid your problems, but that's something completely different. Huh? Little diplodocus. You are a bit of a diplodocus, aren't you? Sticking your head in the sand. What a goofball. Talking of being a bit of a diplodocus, uh, a lot of you guys were going ahead and correctly telling me that, yeah, I've been a bit of a dummy in that the jerky is used more so for taming and making kibble. So, yeah, needless to say, we've put away our jerky and any jerky that winds up being produced here. We will just use it for taming and kibble, I guess. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me know. So then, time to make a bunch of foundations and railings and refining forges. And we are going to speed up the smelting process by a whole heck of a ton, my friends. Let's get this thing rolling, shall we? Oh, yeah, making slow but steady progress, my friends. We have a three by four of foundations here. And all we are going to do is just get some railings in and then we can start on our refining forges. Oh, snappers, making good progress, my friends. Let's keep it going. Alrighty, my friends, refining forges have been obtained. All we're going to do now is try to place them in a nice row along here and we'll see how many we can actually get on the sides uh all right so that's what seven ah seven forges dudes we could probably fit one more right there and then we can have a nice smooth 16 refining forges along here providing 16 times the smelting speed <laughs> oh, this is just brilliant, isn't it? All right, well, we're going to need ourselves, what, nine more refining forges? We've pretty much got everything we need. Uh, we just need the stone. So, yeah, let's do this, man. Yeah, that'll probably do it, my friends. 16 refining forges. I'll probably put a storage box here just so we can store things that are either being smelted or fuel or things that have been smelted, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, we have a new massive utility area. And then eventually, once we do actually get ourselves an industrial forge, we'll probably wind up taking down all of these refining forges and putting the industrial forge here instead. Because why not? It's kind of a pain in the butt having to manually transfer all of the metal into the forges, but uh, never mind. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters all that much. We're going to get this goal done. We're going to get ourselves an industrial forge eventually, guys. And then um, this whole smelting shaboodle is going to be so much easier. It's going to be ridiculous. So then, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six forges going at the minute, guys. Well, technically ten, if you include the forges inside of our house. So yeah, currently, we have ten times refined forging smelting speed. And if we had all of these going, then strictly speaking, we'd have twenty times smelting speed, huh? <laughs> That's crazy to say. That really, really is. But anyways, my friends, I think on that note, it is time to wrap up the episode. These two here are the golden combo for resource gathering in Ark when it comes to high-end resources. Crystal, obsidian, metal. These two here combined can take on all three with absolute ease. So yeah, if you ever find high-level Argentavis and Ankylosaurs out in the wild, you're probably going to want to tame them, my friends. Believe me. But yeah, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, of course, you're excited to see more. I'd very much appreciate it if you guys would head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all of your support. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.